Hello friends, we are at the end of 2023. This is the gas field of Jiaxian province. Afghanistan's largest source of gas is located here. In the gas fields of Jiaxian province, there are 136 gas wells, 36 of which are active and the rest are inactive, which extract more than 650,000 cubic meters of gas in a day and night. About 900 people are working in these gas fields. All these employees and specialists are Afghans. Currently, the city of Shebergan uses this gas. In 2024, a large device will be installed in this gas field, and it refines and processes 2 million cubic meters of gas in one day and night. New wells will be dug, gas will be transferred to Mazar Sharif province, and gas will be transferred and distributed to every house in Jazian province and part of Mazar Sharif province. Jazian province, which is located in the north of Afghanistan. It has the largest gas field in Afghanistan. Kawaja Burhan gas field is located 35 kilometers southeast of Shabargan city, and the total reserve of this field is estimated at 4 to 5 billion cubic meters. Yatim Tak gas field is one of the largest gas fields in Shabargan region, and its total reserves are around 20, 25 billion cubic meters. During the drilling of well number 44 of this field, Due to non-compliance with drilling standards and failure to accurately determine the internal pressure of the tank, all the drilling facilities were destroyed due to the explosion of the well. This incident caused the release of gas and a fire that continued for nearly a year until it was finally contained by various methods, including injecting materials and putting a metal cap on the fire. Kaja Gogerdak gas field is located 22 kilometers southeast of Shebergen city, and the total reserve of this field is estimated at 46.8 billion cubic meters, and its exploitation started in 1967. In 1973, 28 wells were drilled in this field for gas extraction and exploitation, and by 1975, it increased to 32 wells. A part of the gas produced in this area was exported to the former Soviet Union through a pipeline, and another part was transferred to the fertilizer and electricity factory in Mazar-e-Sharif. The sour gas reserve of Kajagordak is estimated at 18.4 billion cubic meters and its sweet gas at 37, 38 billion cubic meters. Jargadug gas field is located in Shebergan gas field and its gas reserves are estimated at 41 billion cubic meters. In addition to the mentioned fields, other oil and gas rich areas have also been identified in this area, which can be Dash Lili area, Akchi area, Mohammad Jan Khan Dagar area, Balk area, Gormak district area, Aliabad area, Bazar Kali area, Kolfat area, and he pointed out the large forest area. The construction of the gas pipeline from Shabargan to Mazar-e-Sharif, worth 609 million Afghanis, has started. This project is 95 kilometers long, and this gas pipeline will be used in the fertilizer, electricity, and glass industry. The gas pipeline will be connected to houses in the future. In 2017, the Taliban cut off the gas pipeline from Jaoxian to Mazar-e-Sharif in Barga area of Chamtal district of Balkh province. Gas extraction from the mines of northern Afghanistan first started in 1345 and 1346, and after 1348, 1 1.2 billion cubic meters of gas were exported from the north of the country to the former Soviet Union, and in return, money, food, and weapons were sent to Afghanistan. Was given, but this process was stopped in the following years in the country. The previous gas pipeline, which was established more than 50 years ago, is almost out of order and cannot meet the electricity consumption needs of Mazari Sharif and companies. But now, with the completion of this large project of the Shabargan gas pipeline to Mazar, at the same time as the production capacity of the electric fertilizer plant in Mazari Sharif is increased, its capacity will be used to produce glass and CNG gas in this province. It is said that this project has a transfer capacity of 170,000 cubic meters. It has gas in 24 hours, which is completed at the cost of 609 million Afghanis from the Afghanistan mines and petrochemicals budget. 
The length of this pipeline is 94.5 kilometers, which extends from Kaja Gurdek in Shaburgan City to Kadbark Power Plant in mazar e sharif and it is considered one of the most important gas projects in Afghanistan. The gas transmission pipeline has been opened from the city of Shaburgahan, the center of Jaozyan, to the city of mazar sharif the center of Balkh. This project has the capacity to transfer 170,000 cubic meters of gas in 24 hours, which is completed from the budget of Afghanistan's mines and petrochemicals. For the first time, a compressed natural gas plant was opened in 2011 in Jazian province, Afghanistan. Compressed gas in machine and gas generators reduces their fuel costs by half. Currently, most vehicles in Afghanistan use diesel and oil, but recently, machine that use natural gas have also entered the market. The compressed gas machine is able to process 18,000 cubic meters in one hour and provide it to motorists. This device is able to install gas system in engines that use oil. Compressed natural gas plants are supposed to be built in different provinces of Afghanistan. The gas required for this station is provided through the gas wells Jarkdok and Shukark, which are located in Jazian province. The gas that is extracted from the oil wells of these two areas, its water and sulfur are refined and converted into compressed natural gas that can be used for engines and gas generators. The discovery and exploitation of huge reserves of natural gas and liquefied gas allows Afghanistan to develop the gas and petrochemical industry, which is used as a main source of income and helps the economic development of the country. The construction project of the gas transmission pipeline from Shabargan to Mazar-e-Sharif, which has been implemented, will help to supply electricity to the country and prevent dependence on foreign energy imports. These gas reserves can help the development of various industries such as fertilizer industry, electricity production, and glass industry, and make it possible to export petrochemical and glass products to international markets. The development of the gas and petrochemical industry and projects related to gas transmission and processing encourage employment in the country and help improve the lives of Afghan people. Using gas as an alternative energy source to oil protects the country from dependence on oil imports in the face of global price fluctuations and becomes more economically stable. The construction project of the gas transmission pipeline to Mazari Sharif will develop the gas transportation and transmission infrastructure in the country and help the development of various sectors. Using gas as a cleaner and less polluting energy source than fossil fuels helps to preserve the environment. In general, this article shows that the discovery and exploitation of gas reserves in Afghanistan leads to economic development, energy supply, job creation, and improving the quality of life of the people of this country and plays an important role in national and regional development. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel to be aware of our new videos. Bye until the next video.